the NBA game of the day, the 76ers against the Toronto Raptors. We're going to talk about that 76ers game right before the beginning of the year, the Rat, on January the 25th. We're just going to see uh, your NBA Finals preview on that particular day. What are we talking about? We are talking about the Philadelphia 76ers and the LA Lakers. The 76ers are being the Toronto Raptors. The 76ers are going to enter the game against LeBron James with 30 wins. It's because LeBron has Demacia of 30. And this is precisely why the 76ers are going to be entering that game with 30 wins. Now keep in mind, loss number 17, the Lakers have 16 championships right now. The 76ers have to remain at 16 losses. Uh, on the Toronto Raptors side, if, you know, if they lose to the 76ers, the 76ers are playing the MVP next. We're talking about LeBron James. MVP is 15. It's even LeBron Raymond James that has Demontria 51 as well. And now the Raptors remaining at 29 wins. It's Manhattan that has Demontria of 29. So it's looking like the 76ers all the way tomorrow. Nuggets and the Rockets. Uh, next one we have. The Rockets are going to win uh, that particular game. Nugget has to match up 29. The Rockets certainly have to get the 29 wins at some point. Now, the Denver side. The Denver Nuggets are playing for win number 31 against Houston because it's Houston that equals 31, although... It's not necessarily going to happen that way. I want you to know that... Let me see here. I thought Houston Rockets equaled 65 for a second. Let me see here. You're going to have to do this method here. Nuggets uh, play New Orleans next. There's nothing obvious uh, right away with that. The New Orleans Pelicans certainly have something to do with the 19th win against the Western Conference. I mean, didn't they, though, the Lakers get Anthony Davis from the Pelicans? Can they win the 3 P for their 19th championship with him? You have to go You have to go with Houston on this one. You, you totally have to go uh, with Houston. I can see 27 and then 28 and then, you know, 29th win against the Nuggets. So um, maybe Houston loses at Denver, but I definitely have... A Houston win in that game. I'm, I'm going to go with the Rockets all the way uh, to end the losing streak. Pacers and the Suns. Indiana is just behind Philadelphia. They're just behind Philadelphia. And, you know, when I'm looking at Indiana... They gotta be at 29 wins before the Blazers game because Blazers equals 29. And but on the Phoenix side, on the Phoenix side, they could easily lose their 25th game, 26th game against the Pacers because it's Pacers that equals 26, and they're gonna have to win to keep pace in the Western Conference. Let's just see what. Grizzlies is, or Memphis, I should say. You know the 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 the, the, the ideal pick here is going to be Phoenix. This one is a little little bit tricky here, but I got to go with the. Even though the Suns lose a lot at home just from the standpoint of keeping fans interested. Got to go in Phoenix over Indiana and then uh, 26, 26 over at San Antonio. That that doesn't make sense here. This Phoenix-Indiana game is just double-coded as it stands right now. I mean, the, at the least, if, if, if the Suns were to win, then it would have to be from a uh, comeback fashion. Um, on the Indiana side, it's just 29 wins entering that 
Portland game. Just may have to give it to the Suns tomorrow. Most likely the the Pacers got beat pretty good the other day, and then maybe they go to Golden State and they defeat the Warriors. So that's what's uh, looking like maybe the case uh, for this particular game.